Well, here we are all set up to uh, try to uh, get to this thing. Ah, let me show you. There it is. Right there. So there's a hose clamp yeah, on that tube. This fitting, this aluminum fitting, is the water connector or whatever they like to call it. You just saw a drip go there that uh, takes the cooling water into the water jacket in the base of the forward cylinder then there's just a, a hose clamped on the end of it and uh, there we go I don't know what I was showing you before so there's the the hose clamp and the hose that's connected to the water supply connector. It's the coolant going into the uh, water jacket and the, the cylinder base. And uh, this stupid thing is just dripping. Now that O-ring, see that, that split there where that uh, casting bolts on there. The O-ring was replaced there but he goofed up with his uh, pipe and it's very difficult to get in there. You can't get your hand in there. Let's zoom back out here and I'll try to stick my hand in there and you can see that basically can't do it. Now I've got a very long wrench that is long enough to get on there well I didn't realize it but you can actually see this thing better from the left side and uh, I'm going to put my hand in there yeah I'm going to be able to get my hand in there which means yeah I've got my finger on the end of it which means I'm going to get in, be able to get in there with a wrench and uh, tighten it up. Well, it's pretty hard to show this, but I can just get my hand in there with an 8 millimeter box wrench and get on that thing. I got to put the camera down. But anyway, I can just get on there with the box wrench and uh, I'll attempt to tighten that and I'll tell you how much it turns. So I've already turned that thing a half a turn and it's just it's just snug. This is like a, a four or five inch long wrench and it's just you know I haven't even tightened it yet it's just snug. So it was quite loose. Well I don't see much alternative except to uh, take that hose clamp off and uh, pull the uh, the rubber hose out and inspect it and uh, then put it back on again. Uh, it's clamped down there pretty tight and it's still leaking. They may have positioned the clamp wrong. Uh, it felt to me like it was uh, uh, clamping against the outlet tube and that they hadn't missed it with the clamp, but they may have, or they may have put a hole through the tube when they clamped it. So I uh, just got to take it apart and look at it. Of course, we'll lose all our coolant again, but uh, there's no alternative to uh, doing that because I already tightened it pretty good, and uh, it certainly did not make it. It didn't change it at all. So uh, something else is going on there. It does not appear to be leaking from the joint between the fitting and the uh, the cylinder. 
uh, so it's uh, it's uh, some issue with the with the uh, with the hose and the clamp. Well, I'm trying to hold a flashlight and the camera in one hand and adjust the mirror in the other. Maybe there's enough light without the flashlight. So, yeah, now I've lost the camera in there. Well, this is extremely hard to photograph, but uh, you can see how the edge of the tube is kind of uh, ballooned out on both ends and it's clamped on there pretty hard and it's still leaking. So, I suspect the clamp is not positioned completely over the, uh, the outlet tube for this fitting, or else there's actually uh, a leak or a cut or a hole uh, in the pipe under the clamp. So we'll have to take it apart and look at it. Well here's the uh, the hose pulled off the fitting and uh, there's a culprit right there. That's a split in the hose right next to where the uh, the clamp was and uh, the whole hose you can see has been pretty well mangulated over time. I, I can't think of a better word for it than, uh, than that. Uh, pure mangulation. Just uh, mistreated. And uh, I don't know how old this hose is. Hose looks, the rest of the hose looks okay, but I'm uh, uh, going to have to replace that. And uh, let's see if we can zoom out here. And got this thing on a tripod, makes it a little hard to follow along. But uh, the other end of the hose is right here. And wiggle it a little bit. Anyway, that's it right there. And uh, we'll have to pull that out. And I think that's an ordinary piece of hose, even though it's got this 90 degree bend in it. I think it's just an ordinary piece of hose that we ought to be able to get at the auto parts store. But uh, that was the cause of the leak failed hose. Well, you know what they say, Yamashita sprung a leak. So here's the uh, the culprit. Uh, this tube here that goes from the from the water pump over to the water jackets in the front cylinder. And uh, I think I showed you before, but uh, there's the. There's the leak right there. That's a pretty good one. So, uh, yeah, this is a form tube. And uh, I guess we'll try to buy one if we can. And if not, we'll try to horn a piece of uh, conventional tubing in there. But I think it'll probably try to kink right there if we don't get a formed one. So we'll see what we can do. Now it's really difficult to photograph with this camera anyway. There, where is that son of a bitch? There it is. Anyway, 